The visitor's room. Oh, good. The visitor's room. Is this her? Yeah. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not! You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! <laughs> Have you come to laugh? You laugh at the fall of Miss May? No, not really. There's <laughs> something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guy. He is not scared. He's not moved. He's, yeah. he's stoic. No, he's just frozen with fear. Yes. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to ask of me, then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally cracked? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so fucking crazy? God yeah. damn. <laughs> I can scan him again. I mean, he's yes. terrified. The guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. He's a real pro. Well, he doesn't get to see a lot of women like this man here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no clues here. Cool. All right. Well, that was very unhelpful. Um, talk. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get a talk. You don't know, like your attitude. Uh, why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. It's a criminal. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep! So it's impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bomb-feeding, scum-sucking liar! Bottom? I mean, I know you had digestive problems the other day, but like, I can yeah. tell. Did, did she have a few? Lay off the lunch? iced coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nine nine dollars a piece. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Well, just against me. Uh, so, do I have something that I can like present or. Um, let's see your testimony. Got. I've got this dude still around. Um. You, you're a liar. Um, how old is he? 64. Uh, he's 30. Oh, he's looking rough. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to look like gumshoe in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> what can I present? Um, uh, how do I present this? Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts, so get lost, because well, I'm not cooperating. Cool, thanks. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, you're not gonna... Uh... <laughs> you're just taunting her at this point. You're just... Hey, guess what? I'm still... Wait... <laughs> so I'm still gonna give you these. Yeah, she's, she's not gonna... Hey, look, guess what? I'm an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> you hate me. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, okay, she's not gonna write, okay, it's futile. Alright, we're gonna go somewhere else. Can I go to you? What's your deal? Why didn't you want to come to this case? Yeah, he, he's not... Exactly. He doesn't want anything to do with the phase. Uh, that painting is gone. Uh, yes. Why is that gone? Worth three million? You would never get rid of it. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Uh, maybe we should examine that. <laughs> Wait a second! Wasn't there a giant... Um, yeah, now that I think... Yes, there was. Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Marvin Gross... Was it him? I guess... I'll say it was. Wasn't it? Wasn't it a very memorable painting? Uh, it wasn't a very memorable painting. Any... Oh, okay. This painting of a fisherman? What's that? Was it? I didn't see... No, okay, it doesn't matter. Was it was certainly... It was, okay, certainly wasn't sunflowers. Or anyway, right. Cool, it didn't matter. Yeah, what's... Who are you? Oh, that's the guy! It's just old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil on the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A. Oh! Was this what was in, hidden inside the thinker? Ah! Let's take a look at these. Um, I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Yeah, probably. I'm so bored with this photo. Yeah, I bet you're right. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Yeah, I think you're right. That is the mum. Can I take the other one? A photo lies on the desk. 
Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, what would be more handy? Like, the thing is, her mum... Well, how would that be relevant to the mm. case? Because... Um, I don't know. I'm, if if um, April May, only if she knew her would it ever be. Well, it's more know. if he comes into the scene. Yeah. Like a photo of himself doesn't really matter much. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna keep what I've got and see what. Oh boy, I better not. I'm gonna yeah, I may regret it, but we'll stick with it. Um, so the mahogany desk, yeah, and then. Terrible globe. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we're all good here. Um, go Fanco. Oh, I can check the wiretap on the phone. It's like forensics is taking the day off today. Dead to come, she's nowhere in sight. Police really gave this place a working over. Are there any valuable clues left? I bet that's not true. Can I look at the phone? Oh, wait, this isn't the same phone, is it? No, it's not. Thing. Oh, is it? Oh, well, it won't. Wait, let me look at the phone. It's... Okay. There are, some, are there some files missing? Uh huh. Wait, but, but, no, 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 but. No. <laughs> no movie poster. Doesn't matter. These take a quite plant. Yes, I'll have to water it now. Okay. Great. I already forgot what the plant was called. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't have any recollection of it. Okay, so that's all here. Okay. The hotel. Oh, the hotel room. Ooh. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. What a performance today, if I do say so myself. Oh, um, thanks? Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honoured guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Alright, alright. I'll examine the room first. Okay, still seeing pain. Boring. Okay, there were two people, we know that now. I've got all two glasses. Why isn't these cleaned up by now? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. It's really leaning into this. Yeah. Hotel the whole murder thing. Huh? It's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Oh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror. <laughs> if you open it, there's a scary face of the murderer. <laughs> it's said to become one of the most popular attractions here. Would you like to try one of our more popular drinks? Iced coffee of murder. Yeah. We've, we've given it some dye to make it look like blood. Like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really leaning into it. It's like their brand. Please don't sit on the bed. We're about to change the sheets. It's going to be covered in skulls. Let's go over again today. I can see the Fanco office. That's great. Oh, yes. We plan to install a telescope. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> this hotel and its aggressive monetization. <laughs> Just $5 will earn you three minutes of a view to a kill. Fuck me. I'm a really big Duran Duran fan. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> Look in his eyes and say he was more than serious. Please do not touch the telephone. We're <laughs> wide tapping as we speak. <laughs> bars is expected. Uh, no, nothing nothing to do with the bars. Alright, cool. Right, okay. go on. What, what's just... Oh, oh, let's start with the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Rooms that we had a sub fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> the Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's unhinged. He's seen 
so nice. The murderer didn't even occur in the fucking building. <laughs> like... Well, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> He's crazier than me. Like, yeah. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> whatever floats your iced coffee, sir. <laughs> oh, God, let's go with this. Christ. <laughs> Okay. This is amazing. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I knew this character would be good. I knew it. I felt it in my bones. I... Don't talk to bones. Don't mention bones around him. He's gonna freak out. He's gonna... Yeah. His direction will pierce the window. <laughs> Quadruple glazing has nothing on what he will feel when you mention murder in this hotel. Oh man. Oh her. So not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. <laughs> do, do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Okay, that was it. All right. <laughs> I wanted to ask you who the, about the man who was with Miss May. Oh yes, he struck me as a real lady killer. If you'll pardon the expression, I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I have the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Maybe we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Back we go. If, if Grossberg's okay, so cat Grossberg's not there. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that photo. I think I'll swap them. Yep. Okay. Back we go. Give me a sec. Uh, right. Right. I'm, I'm back at Murder Manor. Just I've got a thing for you. <laughs> Oh, that's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an, uh, affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Yeah, I haven't write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes! Oh, fuck yeah! Yes! Fuck yeah! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. Henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the other to fuck me. <laughs> Just, I don't even write it. Excellent. Disguise the man who said Miss May at the hotel. This guy's gonna it. write a book. Yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah, write a yeah. Book he's about gonna sell it in the lobby. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Excellent. Oh, there are two pages of evidence. Okay. Uh, so do I need this photo anymore? Now that I've got this. I don't think I do. I'm going to switch it back. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's, he's out. No, he ain't. No more photos on the desk. <gasps> he stole it. Oh, you... Grossman. Grossman's fishy. You he's, cheeky with, bastard. With phase. He does not like the phase family. Family. Okay, there's nothing else here. Okay. You. Okay, I want to go back to Fanko. He's not here. Okay, I just thought, like, is he randomly there now? Um, no. Okay. Okay. What if we... What if I just show her the photo? You again? Can you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phoenix, right. He's gonna... I'd like to present this. Head. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Haha, <laughs> reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No! No, that's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof! Show me proof! I'm so close. I actually do. Um. Oh, could you have a look at this? Yeah. What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he said. That is the way, that is how it's pronounced, right? I don't know. I have never once seen that word. Cool, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah. Such I don't as the even man know what it means. You, you checked in with. 
who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears, push her heart. Oh. Which is. Uh, well, the thing is, if you. It, like, it is, I don't know. Mm. Less strict sentence, and then. Well, I don't know, but she was complicit. Yeah. Don't know what to do. Uh, it's up to you, I guess. Oh, I don't know which is better. I'm gonna push her, she's already freaking out. I'll see how it goes. Yeah. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What?! <laughs> Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with, this reputa with his reputation. <laughs> Fine, I'll talk. You, uh, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. <laughs> oh, it's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. <laughs> Phoenix Wright starts flossing. <laughs> <laughs> um, funny, because both the hair looks like candy floss, but yeah. That man, yeah. he's my boss. Red, white. Red, white, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Court. Red, white, Blue Court. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, they said someone said that earlier. America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, red, white, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her! The mum. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Oh. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. That boy's affidavit discarded. Oh, really? Interesting. Don't I still need that to prove he was there? <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Alright. Hmm, this seems sinister. <laughs> <gasps> it's not a globe! It's not a globe! It's the same orb! Oh, it's, it's, in this, it's in that guy's office. Oh, yeah. is that, I, it's also the fucking painting. Yeah. Oh, I was. I immediately saw also, the blue corp. Blue corp. It's it's green. Yes, it is. Red, white, blue, green. Cool. Good stuff. And she's pink. Yeah. You've it's got all, to be kidding me. It's all great. All colors. Well, it of the takes rainbow. all colors to make a rainbow, I guess. Yeah, in, including pink. That's not in the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. What's this surreal decor? Oh, this is gonna be him. Welcome, please. Please furnish me with the title of your personage. Can I make a request for the voice if you're not going okay. to? Uh, if, uh, if you if, if you want to do it, I'm happy to. But uh, I'm happy it... you to. But can you do a game show host? Like, hello, I'm, I'm the the. <laughs> okay, what if this is for Red White, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. The... okay. Yeah, it sure is. Your name? What's your name? I was just. Inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's this, problem? <laughs> this guy goes on Reddit or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's I'm funny, Reddit. funny you mention Reddit. That's how I found yeah. out this guy's the murderer at the beginning yeah, of this recording okay. section. <laughs> I'm I'm Mr. Reddit White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporation expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. 
So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Shapes, this guy's out of meter is off the scale. Alright, first off, I'm gonna look at all of this. A statue of a man holding up the world. Is he? <laughs> the blue cold stone certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too beauteous. Butesatious. Butesious. I think you can say Future it any way and it will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> for you to appreciate, I correct? think it's a little too butesious for just about anyone to appreciate. I've only just noticed the table. Sweet Christ! <laughs> like, yeah, what are these it's legs? Like a pers Persona 4 boss. It's like, it's, uh, it's, it's the first. Uh, dungeon in Persona 5, just all the statues to come a shoot yeah. <laughs> okay, guessing... You know what? Capcom, right, mm. used to have a reputation of having horrible localization, right? Mm. And like hot, really rubbish translation. But this game does such a good job yeah. at like getting the jokes over yeah, in absolutely. English. Because what would the Japanese equivalent be? Yeah. I mean, who I knows? Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, for the made-up words, I guess, like, in Japanese, it would still be words that just don't make sense. Yeah. Like, I presume, but, yeah, I guess but it's like, supposed to, to, get, to yeah. sort of figure out the nuance must be so difficult. Mm, yeah, for sure. Yeah. My, my, this is quite the thing. It is model on my body, see? Well, does its sleek roundature not inspire you? It... It's doing something to me, that's for sure. Yeah. You found a Tomb Raider a secret. Yeah. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Interesting. The other guys had three million. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Got a lot of trophies. Impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner Up, Best Participation, Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. Mm, the words Judges and Special kind of stand out. Interesting. Anything else to look at? Uh, window. The window. It's the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. Good. I think that's. Everything. Alright, let's speak to you about things. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct! She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she's paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Hmm. Blue Core. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Ah, oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into this grand office you see now. Ah, oh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. No way! Hi, <laughs> Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. He <laughs> proceeds to wear a pink suit. Yeah, he and loves also blue. loves the colour blue, but he doesn't have anything blue apart from a tiny bit of his tie and the diamond. Like, everything else <laughs> is not. Fantabulistic, is it not? Alright, night of the murder, where were you? On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who could say I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place? My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Oh, still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. 
You want me to speak? Put me on the witness stand. Oh, gladly. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, that raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. That painting. Uh, there's something that's been bother bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Um, it is gorgeous. Um, yeah. where did you get it? Or when did you get it? Say, when did you get that painting? Uh, hmm. No idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? <laughs> Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again. Who are you? Um, uh huh. A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse, excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. What? <clears throat> okay. Oh, he's... Okay. He punched me. Hello, Mr. Lawyer. What will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Yeah, I would like to do that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand there's a world beyond your compensation. <laughs> You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. All right. I'm gonna, you know, crawl my way to the office. To Phoenix Wright, you're gonna hit this guy with a fucking wall combo. <laughs> oh, Grosbo's back. Okay. I don't remember what his voice was. Yeah, I don't. Uh, hang on. I, I, I don't do think it, he's yeah. noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! J Jump in your hose of hats. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. I, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this uh, whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Alright, let's go. Mr. White. Oh. So, well, we're going to do all of them. So you yeah. came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was uh, bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a hoink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister. That, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. Ah, uh, your refusal. I asked you before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right think... to know. Uh, right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I, I, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I need more time to think about it, my boy. You does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Yeah, right, let's go. So, I paid Blue Core a visit. Oh, oh, I, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it, Well. Out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Uh... Oh, man. Well, that big part is all of it, really. That big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? 
The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Core, Red's, Red White's office. Hmm. So, who noticed? Hard not to. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lovers. <laughs> <laughs> He's blackmailing you, I presume. So... Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? <sighs> I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well, this may be a chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest, so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. It's the name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I did not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Why would have destroyed me if I did? So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be now impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the word of many years. Okay. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received yeah. a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Medium. Her name was Misty Faye. Faye? Oh, like Misty Faye, but Misty oh, Faye. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her for a wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Uh, reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grisberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because our talks to the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking at... We're looking for the one who sold the map. Of course, White's heard about this and... He came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. Why controls the law of this country? As he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. There were missing files. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. 
Trying to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe we should have another look. Oh, I'm going straight here. <laughs> All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Hmm, I mean... Let's see. Uh, there's a, a record of this file that catches my eye. <laughs> a, B, F, Misty, Faye. That's me and my ass mother. Yay, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Good, let's read it. Um, I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother uh, blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. And the other was a man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So me and you, Grossberg. Interesting. Well, let's take a look at the others. Let's see, if we ask, nothing much in here. Skim, sure. Well, no harm in flipping for a bit. The biggest part ends at suicide. Oh, okay. She's a collection of suicide reports. Politicians, policemen... It's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Oh. This is a bit like a plot in the show I'm watching. <laughs> Don't say what the show is. <laughs> just yeah. because it is a spoiler for that show. Yeah. Um, why drove them all to... Oh boy. I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. These people could be added to, okay. Uh, politician suicide, the word white is written, okay. Can I not look at the, yeah, uh, check him. I wanna see T to Z. Taze on day, what have we got? I know, W white. The entire W section is missing. Haha, <laughs> okay. Okay. Where do I go now? Don't know. Detention center? Maybe? That won't let me talk to it. Okay, not you. Um. Hmm. Present. Yeah, ah. Try not to really present that. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red. Oh, sorry. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> She was investigating Red White, as I suspected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Okay. Where do I go next, then? Do I go to him? Like, surprise. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not pe penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Fun. I'd like to present this anyway. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. It's the only clue where, okay, I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia! She had a file it... filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre... I'm sorry, like... Red-white... 
who runs Blue Corp, performs black mail. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like it's all. Yeah. It's all. It's all. It's all there. Mail. Yeah. What a what a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Maya. Mia? Never mind. Yeah. Secretary's yeah. office? Hello? Mr. Wrong, will you be leaving now? Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Oh, wait a second. Mr. White. I... You're right. Uh, what did you say? You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping taps. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Hmm. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wong. Instead, please commit me to the public prosecutor's office. Oh, of course, sir. One moment, please. What? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I'd like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of you called it, Teal. Mm -hmm. You called it. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those... Chief Prosecutor! I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. This case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look con competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry butts. Right, right actually, actually, Phoenix oh. Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present you, the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Well, I guess we're uh, under oath tomorrow. Fun times, fun times. Will you represent himself? Uh, or... I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's well, gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on, on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. 
Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They uh, they let you out of detention. Why are you in there then? <laughs> oh. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> I'm afraid we switched places. What do you mean, you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother? My sister? And now you. This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Yeah, defend me in court. Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. What are the ghost powers that run in your blood? <laughs> I'd better run to the bookstore <laughs> and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Yeah, this is gonna go well, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? I'm, I'm kidding. It was a joke. <laughs> no way. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. <laughs> Phoenix and is there like, really isn't oh, anything you can do for me. Anyway. <laughs> I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. The true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Oh, 